lucky I didn't waste it any time with the kitty treats. There you go. No, you don't want to eat them over there. You want to eat them over here instead. There's your kitty treats, Darius. Any other kitties coming? I hear avoiding kitty incoming. And here comes the gargoyle. Though I think he just stole Void Kitty's treats. Well, apparently Void Kitty just doesn't care about treats right now. He either doesn't like these ones or he doesn't want the treats. So your hip gargoyle might gain a pound. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. We have we have a bowling ball coming. Oh, Here goes. Hey, sweetie. There we go. One in Bodine. One in Zephyria. Hey Darius, yes? You gonna stomp you across the keyboard? Okay. Morning, Scurvy. Morning. Right. What was I doing? What That's I morning, doing? guys. <laughs> morning, guys. So, my wife told me I needed to start learning to brush my hair straight back over my head instead of off to the sides. She goes, I know you've got a high forehead, but you gotta learn. I says, well, you know, I don't need to be blinding everybody on stream with my shiny forehead. Which X-Men does. Well, nothing, it immediately made me think, that. it's okay, I'm shiny. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped into my head after I said it. All you guys are jealous. You can't pull this look off. I'm just saying. I I wouldn't That's be able word. to. I I would end up literally with just having uh like a ton of stubble on my head within short time. So so I know Dave didn't give the coordinates for this bridge to go in here. <laughs> but I fit it in anyway. It took me a lot of landscaping on the other end, which is why Dave didn't do it. But I had to make a little platform and then literally spend all that time making a ramp down into town. That took a while. How's it going, dog? That that took more than a few minutes to do. Now, I've got an issue. I don't think the presents are going to stack to too high. Spoiler alert. Look away, folks. Oh, they do stack too high. Sweet. Come on. You guys aren't that heavy. I have started putting product into that bridge. That one I will leave as a wooden style bridge just because it, uh, <laughs> length I think is a little too long for the other style bridge. What's going on, Martin? And I'm not sure where these need to be sold at. We're going to have to look at that. <coughs> I think these get sold in July. All of the event ones do. And these ones might go to Walmart. The bank. Okay. What's going on, Martin? 
How you doing this morning? How is everybody's Memorial Day weekend going so far? At least for those of us, you know, stateside, or I should say those of us that celebrate the Memorial Day weekend. You started fresh last night, Poteen. Alright, alright, I gotcha. Decided you didn't want to go through trying to uh, <laughs> import them. I actually need to look under my, on the recycling center, what I have going for production over there. Yeah, I'm still going to be a long ways off getting any of that stuff. No chance of screwing something up that way. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. No, Dave still didn't make that syllable. Dang it. Kind of ruins the look I was going for on that side. Problem is, I don't think if I were to... If I were to go in and make it syllable, I don't think it would stay with that once Dave up dates the map and it might screw something up. How's it going Vampirella? The shell takes sort of gum, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure does. Sorghum sugar... Sorghum sugar cane. Uh, corn and... Corn, sunflower. Sunflower, right? yes. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. 21 presents. Are you kidding me? You're not even stuck on that wall. Why? By the way, my laptop for... Nice boating. That's good. Least you can keep playing until your new battery arrives. Yeah, Amazon's the cheapest link that I've found for that replacement battery there. Boating. Well, no, it shouldn't bother anything if I were to take that pellet and turn it. Because even if Dave changes it back, or even if it gets changed back through an update, it would still remember its new position. <coughs> Might do that. Morning. How are you doing there this morning, Memoir? That's the one he ordered. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, we're no going to go drop all these off over by the bank. For later.
No, Chris, I didn't get a haircut. My wife just told me I needed to start brushing my hair straight back over my head instead of off to the sides like I usually do. So, now, you know, you might get a little glare, but you guys will be all right. All right, this needs to go to farm two. And we need to start getting our other trucks in position. I did make some pretty good progress last night. Uh off camera of course <clears throat> with uh, getting things ready here we're gonna park this in the corner but we're gonna turn this into the combine shed Got one more rock. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have put the bucket away yet. I got one more rock down there I gotta break. Well, that one might be able to stay. We're gonna have to see how the, um, the orchards lay in. Pretty good size, Bodine. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the mediums, I say the large size shed, you can fit the air seeder into the shed. Uh, but if you try to go out of the shed at too quick of a speed, it'll catch on the door. As long as you, like, slow down when the tractor goes out of the shed, it's fine. You can drive right out. See, maybe I can pick this up, bring it with me. Can you go on here, please? No. Hey, why? Why? <coughs> oh, nice. Not nice. Tool is not compatible. Kiss my butt. Come here. This was not originally the plan. There we go. But, yeah, I mean, they fit some pretty good sized equipment through those doors. This area here, I think, is going to become grapes and olives eventually. When I can afford the equipment. Keyword. Probably more olives than grapes. Because I don't think, uh, I mean, wine, grape juice, well, need some raisins. Probably, probably not going to go crazy on the grapes because I may not worry about running grape juice. Um, so I'll see what it needs for raisins and wine for a year type of thing. We'll kind of size things off of that. Nope. 
Um, not for the plantable style. Just fertilizer. Yeah, I was starting to put the border along the edge of the road so it's easier to move the grass down and stuff like that, but hadn't quite finished with it yet. Stumps everywhere, yay. Actually, you know what? I'll just send them all to... No. I'm going to let them come around the corner. Till later. Hey, Gamer Paul. That's all getting deleted out anyway. Once I'm done picking everything up, I just need a point to send them to. Of course, I'll need to buy about, I don't know, 300 trailers, or containers, rather. Gonna be a lot of containers to sell. But I think we'll manage. Oops. go yeah I went and fixed the XML on the silo so it should stay on a lot longer now and unload from that spout faster only makes sense that that particular 
spout would have a little higher unload speed than the other two unloads. After the latest update to the loan mod, I can't go past a 50-year loan. Ah. Um, it said something about being able to change the maximum length of a loan or something like that. Or maybe updated it. Or I remember seeing something about the maximum length of the loan of it. What is Turbo up to now? What do you mean, turbo? How you doing, CJ? Yeah, I mean, 50 years is still an exorbitant amount of time. You'll you'll never play that long on a map. 50 in-game years? Oh, uh... The money, as far as the job, I don't have a loan anymore. It's paid. That's paid now. the heck weird yeah it might have given you a cheaper monthly payment but you gotta be realistic no bank's gonna give you a hundred year note Maybe once upon a time, but they don't do that no more. Heck, banks may not be around in 10 years. Up the hill, I had the brakes on. Morning. Good morning. Hey, Neon. <clears> That's <throat> Kirby. Hey, Neon. Hello, Becky. What you up to this morning, Mr. Neon? Don't know yet. Literally just rolled out of bed. Yeah, I got up a little after, I don't know, a little after six, couldn't go back to sleep. And, uh, decided I'm up, I might as well just get up. That's how I have to, I only slept for like four or, four or five hours, but. I was say, I didn't even get off the computer until sometime after midnight. I was still hanging out with Dave, and... Mm. Talking that he might have, uh... Not put enough, uh, placeholders in for the county fair. Or the fairgrounds. Uh-oh. Yeah, he thinks he's going to end up doing it uh, quite a bit differently, so now he's wondering if he should have put in more placeholders. The space isn't the issue. I think it was placeholder, like, mods type of thing.
Why would you need placeholders for those? Just for the like triggers and stuff or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm confused. Okay. Almost date me. I I don't know. All right, next truck on its way. Shut that down for a minute. Jeez, still got a couple piles up that way. Well, considering it's about six trees to fill a container, if my math is right, then I cut down 205. Oops. How many liters does a container hold? 44 or 30, something like that. 44, 44. I think. For the 12 meter ones. Right. And you get like 8,000 per 36 foot spruce. So, depending on which, you know, which pieces you put in and, like, what order type of thing, you could get five and a partial tree to a container. Ooh, nice. 67 plus 4, 71k for that one. I'll take it. So if we just go rough math, six to a container, and I cut down 208. Thirty-four, we'll go to 34 containers times 60 grand. There's $2 million worth of wood on the ground there. I'm okay with this. It's just a lot of trips. Thank you, course play or auto drive, brother. drop one of those. Yep. Well, that's good though. If I get about two million dollars, roughly speaking, out of all this, that will give me a fair amount towards the next couple of projects on the list, so to speak. One of those projects is going to require a re-envisioning of my water distribution mod. I'm going to have to tweak it. Kind of give it a different model, too, I think. 
distinguish it a little bit from the uh, Yep, I'm not letting you waste an entire piece of log for 30 liters. <laughs> I avoid kitty. Ah. Right. I get it. There it is. Got a frickin' hair in my mouth. Of course you'd hit in the one place that you guys can't get around each other. <laughs> I get trucks doing that all the time now. One truck hauling logs and one truck hauling bales. Yeah, well, that's where I want to do, see, I'm going to have to buy 15, that one's going to be expensive, um, to ultimately do what I want to do, but for, I think for the Whoa. time being, I can kind of get around once I get 16, but I also need to buy this chunk, which is 800 grand, so I can put my bridge across. I do Bodine only when I'm trying to put it into production, into um, the production though. Guys, I am uh, AFK for for some moments. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I only worry about it when I'm trying to put them into production now. Beyond that, I've got too much wood in my way for what I want to do. So... Yeah, I, uh, I go this route instead. Landscaping, painting. I'm going to draw this back in later with, uh, the roller. Dang it, I missed. Just put them on the desk or something. And why'd you bring me nothing but one type of soda? I've got more than that for sodas out there, turd. The heck I am, there's two cases. At least a case and a partial. There's still two boxes of Pepsi's out there. I said cases, Pepsi. 12 packs. Not sell points. I need to go. Oh, yeah. It's logging. Go, go.
We also need to get that stone crusher, too. Drink water, not Pepsi. I've got water. I drink that. Nope, I didn't have to restart at all, uh, Chris. I had the new maps in, uh, before Dave even started streaming. Yeah, Axeman helped me out with the bridges this morning. They seem good. How do you add a fill type to a tipper? Which fill type are you looking to add, Brookie? I've got two of them in. I actually put one in across here, even though Dave didn't give the coordinates for it. I just did a bunch of landscaping on my part. On my part, tested it out in single player first, but loose cotton. It's not really coordinates. Um, it's just telling you which where the bridge is at. There's no coordinates. Yeah, no. But Dave didn't actually, you know, like put one in there to say, hey, just copy this. I ended up going in and doing it myself because of the landscaping part. That's one that Dave didn't have uh, marked, you know. Loose cotton? Uh, how is it you're getting loose cotton? Not in a bale. Because that would have to be added as a fill type to the map, I think. Before you could add it to a tipper. You have a mod that does loose cotton? Well, my guess is... Yeah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, because it's not part of a fill type category in the map. So you'd have to take the tipper and change it from fill type category to fill types. And manually list every single fill type you wanted to put into it. Uh, and I would also recommend if you do have one that does loose cotton, you probably don't want that mod. I can't guarantee it won't cause issues, but... I also can't guarantee that it won't. Now, unless that mod creator added it to a fill type category within the mod then you just have to make sure that fill type category works pro you know is is registered on the trailer like i said i can't guarantee it won't i can't guarantee it will but this map's a little different than a lot of the other sga maps just pointing that out Morning. Hey, oh. JD. Hey, JD. Hello. Uh, so, I mean, if I knew which mod it was, I could look at it and try to tell you. But without knowing which mod it is, I would recommend not trying to go that route personally. Want to want to drop down one? Sure. I'm guessing you're doing loose cotton so you can combine it instead of having to use the cotton harvesters. Well, then the mod creator should have made a tipper that takes it. If not, then you'd have to know whether or not they registered it in a fill type category and what that fill type category is. Otherwise, you, like I said, have to go the route of changing the tippers from fill type category to fill types and manually listing every single fill type into it. Which can be done, but it's going to take you a few minutes to make that list.
Yeah, see, he made a trailer that takes it. Would be my guess. This is a cotton trailer in the pack. Uh, down the phone. Cotton pack. He's not registering the field type in the map, so you can't. You'd have to add it to this mod. He doesn't even have a fill type script in here to add the fill type to the map. It's completely independent of everything else. Nope, it's not it's not gonna happen because he's got the fill type caught in here and then he's got it um, basically so that it's harvesting it differently instead of putting it into a bale and then this here is going to be cotton trailer. Yeah, fill unit caught in 240,000. Yeah. Yeah, basically he just changed, he just made it so that it harvests it and doing something other than a bale, but the problem is fill type cotton doesn't exist in any of the other fill type categories so when you look at most um trailers rookie this is going to say fill type categories not fill types and the fill type categories refer back to maps map nope map us if you go here to fill types, these are your fill type categories in the map. So the problem is most tippers use this bulk category and because this bulk category does not include cotton, you end up having to try and find where cotton exists on this list, which it's only going to be uh probably yeah see cotton doesn't exist inside of a fill type category yeah no that's what i'm pointing out see and that's why the trailer is fill types not fill type categories because cotton doesn't exist anywhere in a fill type category. So if you wanted to add it to one of your other trailers, you'd have to change it from fill type categories to fill types. And then manually list out every single fill type that's going to go into it.
And that's because he didn't bother to try and register a fill type category or any of the other stuff. He just cheated his way around it and did it as change the combine type, basically. You may also find, too, Brookie, that uh, you might run into issues with some drop-off points that would be designed to take cotton, not taking them in loose format like that, in a bulk format, because they're looking for a bale and not a bulk trigger. So... Uh, there's not a website for sim game. Uh, the domain is expired, Tudor. Uh, if you go to exclamation SGA, it's now is a Trello page. The maps are all still there. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is PB Canyon Crossing, uh, Dave's newest 16x map. Let's not drive all the way up the hill for that. Let's bring it down to me or something. Come here, you. What do you mean I missed the spot? I didn't miss any. No problem, Brookie. What yields higher, Which corn way? or sorghum? Probably corn, right? For... Are you talking from... Uh, the diesel? Uh, yeah, for diesel-wise. Sorghum. Sorghum? Okay. Yep. He's gonna try to decide, do I need another sorghum field, or do I want another corn field? Close enough. Yeah, um... It's, it's deceiving. Uh, somebody tried to tell me that sugarcane had the highest yield on diesel. But what you got to look at is sugarcane also has the highest input of all of them. So right, you get so you get sorghum, yeah. sunflower, and corn all put in 200. But you end up with a corn having a 195 output with, with a 50% bonus, mind you. Sorghum and sunflower get 240 apiece. And then yeah. sugarcane gets 270 out, but 300 in. So you lose, yeah. yeah. So you're, you're not getting the same no. percentage out. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think it goes sorghum, sunflower, sugar cane, then corn as far as... Um, actually, no, you'd have... It'd be sugar cane to be the worst. Yeah. Because this, you're getting it... You know, granted, obviously, I get the 50% bonus, but you're getting 120 out, so it'd be 80 out per 100 in. This one here is getting the... I don't know what it is without the 50% bonus. Oh, you Damn it. Know, I could... now, now I'm sitting here going, I've got to know. Hold on. So I'm looking for shell fuel. I got no bonuses. Yeah, but I'm going to go look at the actual XML. 
So we have corn, 200, so you get 65 out per 100 in. This you get 60 out per 100 in. So you're actually, yeah, sugar cane's the worst. Here is 80 out per 100 in, 65 out per 100 in, and 60 out per 100 in. There's your answer. Yep, sugar so cane's the actually the worst. Yeah. <clears throat> but sugar certain. cane does, I think, does it, it, has, it has a massive yield, yes. Yeah, and it, it regrows. And it regrows, right. So, you know, I mean, variables aside. Yeah. Sorghum if you're, if you're looking Plus, at uh, items, items. Too, so. Yep, sorghum flour. Yep. I don't need sorghum for a while. <laughs> Between my field and the contracts I did, I was sitting at one point at like 1.4 million sorghum. Yep, I can skip a year of that. I still have 700,000. That's with all my productions full. All right, we don't have anything there. Two guys loaded up here. No worries, Matt. No worries. You recommend a good 4X with mostly square fields. I'll be honest, uh, Tudor. The only maps I've played on 22 have been Elm Creek, Wolf Creek, Silver Run, Canyon Crossing. I would say on but, the Hell Valley. Yeah, uh, that's right. NBC did set his up pretty pretty square. Uncharted. Poppy's edition. Those are all square fields. Well, there you go. I, I figured I might not know, but chat would probably have a pretty good idea. I mean, really, this 16x is... You're playing 4x. Mostly square fields. Mostly square fields on here. Hey, handsome, what are you doing? Unless you don't have a system strong enough to run this, of course. Yeah. That, uh... Just be surprised with people who what decks they're running. They can still play the map. Silver one run was short-lived for you? Yeah. I mean, it was decent for what it was. If that what? was what a 16x map, perfect. Even a 4x map with a little bit more flat ground. A lot more flat ground. It needed a lot more flat ground in there. Yeah. There were you were you know once you really got to know the map, you'd be surprised how much flat ground there really was to be able to do stuff with. Mm -hmm. mm. Having Silver Run blown out to a 4x with uh, Green Thumbs Bridge. To go across the river to a flatter area. Oh, that would be. Mm. That, uh, uh, <laughs> if only. Curiosity. Cat. $26 million I could take out in a loan right now. What does that loan mod do if you already have a loan out? Before uh, it it'll out? automatically set it to a three-year term at 3.5% interest. Okay. But otherwise, it doesn't really change much. 
I'm just curious because I'm already at my three million. <laughs> well, I had eight million dollars when I came back in, and it set me to a two hundred and thirty-six thousand dollar monthly payment. I paid it off in eight months, but at at least in this case, um. You know, your payments go actually towards principal on it, too. You're not right. just paying the interest every day. You pay it once a month instead. Well, I've got it set to vary from there, so it will change a little bit. I want to say it was 3.7 the other day. What's it? Oh, no, is it 3.5? Did it change back? I've noticed occasionally the settings get wonky and not want to... Yeah, no, it's on. Okay. Sixty-six grand! Woohoo! NF arches... 4x mostly square. It's all flat. Huh. I don't think I've heard of that one. Uh, keep in mind, Tudor as well, if you do decide with one of the SGA maps, they are all on the mod folder switcher. Uh, included with the mod pack that you need for them all. They can all even be put in the same map folder now. There aren't any loads on this map. Oh, uh, sorry, I was on NF March. Alright, never mind. Didn't realize you were responding to somebody else first. My bad. I gotta go grab truck here. Shut that off. Send you to the farm equipment. Now we can get back here. And apparently I have to redo the auto drive routes over there quick. They do not like the bridge placement. How's it going, Viola? Morning, Mies, man. Really?
Good morning, Bauer Matza. How you doing today, bud? And Charlie XXIV, uh, LXXIV, that'd be what, uh, 74? I hope I got that right. Uh, thank you for the raid. Welcome into the channel. How is everybody doing today? Playing a little PV Canyon Crossing this morning. I got it right. Woohoo! I remember stuff. Doesn't happen often, but I do. Welcome in. A raid from Denmark. Awesome. Morning, Martin. Bauer, he's very old. I, I wasn't going to go there. I just figured 74. Maybe it was a good year. Welcome in, everybody. I got to redo the auto drive routes over the bridge here. It's a little bit off from the other bridge. That should be good enough. Very good year. Nice. Alright, let's get into position over here. But it wouldn't let me... A production revamp doesn't load. Did you stop freaking out? Trying to move you over here for crying out loud. Holy cow. Ah! Stop recording! Making a mess now. Crap. And I broke it. Morning, Beretta. How you doing? I say, when you find a Viola, Beretta's not usually too far behind. Vice versa. Hi, handsome kitty. What can I do for you? You've been playing on NF Marsh? Hmm. What can I do for you there, uh, Mr. Kitty Cat? Are you, are you gonna let me play the game, or are you gonna you're just gonna continue to say you're more important than the video game at the moment, huh? Huh? You telling me you're more important than my stream? I'm not, I'm not allowed to do this. I gotta pay attention to you. Is that what you're trying to say, Kitty Cat? Well. Fine. Don't stay on the trailer. I don't want you to anyway. Come on in there, Nelisk. K 
kitty's always more important. Yeah, he's he's a pretty he's a pretty good kitty cat. Uh -huh. Wife took her shirt off because she didn't realize in her half awakenedness that she put it on backwards. <laughs> oh, inside out, she said. How's it going there, Beretta? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself this morning, Mr. Beretta? This long, uh, at least for us Americans, this long weekend. I do want to say a big thank you to all those who have served or are currently serving in the armed forces. Long weekend for Canada, too. Ah. No, nope, I was last weekend. No holiday this weekend. Farming away on NF as usual. Uh -huh. So whereabouts is that? Is that one based on a geographical location, Beretta? And the annoying violet wall of. I, I figured he might be doing that, Viola. He, he is a bad, after all. Just kidding, Beretta. Yeah. I say, yeah, Irish, yep. Found apparently I have a Canadian Junction that shares a last name with me. Messing around on Google Maps the other day. this up for the next one. Map based on the map maker's hometown area. Nice. Alright, well we got that little section cleared of logs. I, I did drop a lot of trees. This will take a few minutes. Nope, not there. Container drop off. Off you get. You can go to Canadian Crossing Farm Equipment. Jump over here. Grab the next container <coughs> line. Bless you. Bless sorry. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> North of I Germany. I my head fast enough, and I didn't. I failed. North Friesland. Ah, well, thank you for that there, MacGyver. Uh, I send you to logging. So, x are you still there? No, he's, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Do you know, JD, how to do it with uh, auto drive so they kind of, like, wait uh, for a two-way to clear? Nope. I don't know if you can. Like, it seems can. Yeah. it seems like they pick and choose when to wait and when to not. All right. I wasn't sure because I know that they used to wait right over here next to the stone crusher for the way to clear. And then they've, like, stopped waiting as much now that I change the uh, the path to the edge of the burnt forest. Are you expecting a delivery? 
I don't order anything. Hey, MacGyver. I say, I don't, I don't order anything. <laughs> My wife just goes, are you expecting a package? I don't freaking order nothing. Bullshit, you won't, don't order anything. We heard that. Yep, we heard that. <laughs> yep, we heard that. It requires me having money to order stuff, and I don't have any money, so I don't order stuff. Sorry. It, it requires me to have, um... Expendable funds. And right now, I don't consider myself to have any expendable funds. Now, I think... It, normally, Dave does, like, a dirt texture underneath his orchards, which doesn't look too bad. Be honest. That's like my biggest, my biggest dilemma right now is where I'm gonna put those because I don't know where to put them. I'm looking for like terrain like Darius is doing, like really where it would look ugly for a field. How about um? So I'm thinking maybe. Did you start in the middle? Kirby? No, southeast there. Oh, JD, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's he's way down in the southeast there. I got. I I'm thinking I could do one like that on one of these properties here near the main farm. That's kind of hilly and stuff. I'm debating it. That's kind of my number one option right now. But it's like that. It's very hilly. Got a few trees on it. I think the decorative ones. Yeah, nine. Oof. Two point one million dollars. Yikes. It's a big piece of property though. Yeah. Making sure I clear all this stuff off the edge here. Oh yeah, he's got the shag bark hickories and like birches on this one. It's very hilly. This is might be where I do it. Where's that? Plot nine. Oh, not field nine. Oh Plot yeah, nine. yeah. Plot, Plot nine. nine. Yeah, that'd be a good spot to do it. I was also looking over at. Uh, there's some really hilly areas over by the BGA area, in that area, up north yep. a little bit too. Mm -hmm. And having orchards in there because there's no way you're going to be able to run a cutter bar on there as well. Yep. But where is number nine? It's nine? Really right in the middle, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's yeah. not even... Uh, I wasn't using a delete grass there. All I was doing was... Um, I had the landscaping tool with the grass, and then just instead of uh, left clicking, right clicking. Man, I was going there, choo choo. It is flat. Um, it is flat on the left side there. That's a little flat strip there. But then it gets really hilly. <laughs> yeah, but that gives you space. You could have if you're going to do this whole orchards. You could use green. Yeah, you could put an orchard. Oh, uh, you're right. His thing right there, so you can just dump right there, and that should work perfect. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I like that idea. Yeah. Yep. I are smart. Yeah. Are smart. Because that's that's one thing I've been sitting there thinking about. I was like, all right, if I'm gonna do the orchards, you basically harvest them eighteen and a half thousand at a time. How do I then get that into a bigger truck to make the longer trek? Because I'm not going to take yep. my harvester all the way down yeah. to my fruit processing area every time. So I think right. what I'll do is probably have a single, you know, one of the single sheds that you can basically just take turns putting stuff into. You're right, we're right. And then park a truck underneath it. So, you know, dump, dump off one side and as it fills up, just put it in the truck, put it in the truck. When I'm done harvesting the orchard, 
truck heads off to storage. That type of thing. Now, will the storage make it so you can put it in, like, different... It could make it so you can put it in different trailers, right? Or is it pallets? Yep. No, it, it, you can put it in a, any bulk trailer at that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... You know. I believe. Good big map. And Tipperary. Plenty of grass fields. I mean, in, unless that's part of one of the other mods I've got, Redneck, all I was doing was uh, alternate clicking when I was doing the um, grass painting. Once I get to July, I should be able to buy that property. Well, maybe not quite all of it with the bunnies and the gold. Mm -hmm. That bunny money. Mm-hmm. When do you get presents? What month is that? Uh, I just started getting them in December. And when do they sell the best? December? Uh, July, I think. I think all of that stuff basically sells July. Yep, July. At the bank. Same with the coffins. They sell in July. Coffins don't sell near as much as the rest of them, though. I wonder if Dave intended that or not. Okay. Darius, mom has got a treat for you. Well, when you look at the the event stuff, they all sell right around eighteen grand or so per in their best uh, time of year, and the filled coffins are about a third of the price. So, I, I don't know if Dave intended them to be that much different in price, or if there's a, if something was uh, set wrong. I have to ask him when he gets up. Alright, the thing I've got to do is plan out my orchard to see if I need to take out that rock or not. I don't know if I do. But I know it's going to be 17 rows from the edge of the road. I'll probably start somewhere. Whoa, stop with the freaking camera. Somewhere back here. And I might go a little further out from here to start. So let's see. If we go production orchards, apples are what's going to be here. Ooh. Three, four, Holy cow. five, six, nine, hey, seven, eleven, Good twelve. Morning. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Morning, Dave. F for that. Morning. It will miss that rock, so we get to leave the rock. Sweet. I like to leave some of that stuff. Morning, Dave. Morning. 
Good morning. Did you, did you hear us talking about you, Dave? No. From basically yeah. from this spot right here is where I started, right about here. Yeah, so we're gonna start from this spot here when we drag out the. Actually, I need to start from this spot right here when I drag them out so that they end up in the right. Right there. Right there is where I need to do it. Essentially. Uh, no, I was commenting on the coffins, the filled coffins. As far as the event yeah. items go. They yeah. seem to be drastically different priced than the others. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was intended or not, because the, the other ones are all around 18,000 per item, and the filled coffins are at 7. Uh, that might be because I don't have the graveyard down too yet. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. I, I guess I should wait and put that I'll down first. Pick. I haven't got any yet. They'll be yeah. in one soon, but I don't have one. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that way some days too, Dave. So I'm sure you know. No, get back here. How are you doing? Stupid log. That's supposed to fall off. Back here. Well, Dave, All thanks right. to these, thanks to the discussion with Scurvy and Darius here, I think I've decided where I'm putting my orchards, which was my biggest uh, little conundrum here. Oh yeah. Plot nine. Number nine. R really? Yeah. Yeah, because like these guys were saying, you put the put the storages on the flat part on the left side, and then just put the orchards all the way on the on the hills there. Yeah. Yeah. Plot nine or field nine? Plot nine. Plot, plot nine. Okay. Yeah, it's basically uh, that big field opposite your forest where you started your road yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see that one. I was thinking of putting um, greenhouses up on the hill, possibly. Is it flat I don't know. enough up there for greenhouses? I mean, you can mm. make it flat enough. Well, yeah, of course, you can always yeah. make it flat. Or put the greenhouses down. I don't know. I haven't decided really what to do with mine yet. I don't own it yet. Well, I don't either, but... I will. Soon. Ooh. A lot of loads in this grab. A lot of logs in this one. Back end of the tractor's coming up off the ground. All right. Uh, probably be. Yeah, these two logs here will finish it. I should really try to pick out a couple of small ones instead of the... I thought it was closer. I'm gonna try to swing the end of the log into the container and missed.
How short am I? One medium sized piece. I got one right there. Right there. This one will work. Sim Dave is aware that we are back in PV County with the new bridges in the screenshot. It does look that way. They, it looks really good, that bridge. Green Thumb did an awesome job. We're back in PV County. Wrong map. Be right back. I did send him to the right spot, right? Why am I thinking suddenly I didn't quite send him to the right location? I didn't. Morning, Mr. NBC. Good morning, hey, NBC. NBC. Morning, NBC. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you there, sir. Thank you for that, Viking. Ooh. You're very welcome. Anyone else get a Walton's flashback? Can't say as though I do, Bodine. I'd say the Brady Bunch, but there's not enough female streamers in the SGA. Oh, everyone's saying hi to each other. Ah, I gotcha. See, I'm unfamiliar with the Waltons, so. Never actually watched Good night, that one. Jim Bob. 
Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ann. Or Mary Ellen, I think it was. I can't remember. Viola just said that exact same thing. See, I, d I never watched the Waltons, so that's why I didn't get the reference. <laughs> How's it going there, Queen Chris? Container drop off with you. You're doing your thing. Now, right, let's go grab another container from down there. Drive this guy back. Yeah, as I say, the Waltons was a little before my time, too. Then again, I'm just a youngin, so. Yep, yep. <laughs> you feel a bit older now there, Beretta? Yeah. That's okay. It's only a number. And hey, we all play video games, so if you think about it as uh, you just leveled up... Yeah, see? Doesn't feel as bad, does it? When you level up, the levels get harder, usually. Depends on the game you're playing. I suppose. What's going on, Enduro? You type in your accent, you even have to crack yourself. Nice, Bretta. Going good, just about to start the farm up. Getting close to clearing your road for the new bridge to the Somalarian. Nice! Yep. Got this bridge in. Put in the bridge across the main uh, channel there over by the museum. Came out pretty good. Tough time of year remembering all those that have given the ultimate sacrifice for us to be where we are now. Indeed, NBC, you said it very, very well. Um, I know I said it a little while ago, but uh, I'll say it again. Thank you to all those that uh, have served or are currently serving in the armed forces, even outside the U.S., because we're not the only country that has a military and has those that sacrifice, give the ultimate sacrifice for their countries. And Statling59, thank you for the follow. Welcome into the channel. How are you doing today? Boop. God, that fills up quick. Doing fine. Good to hear. It's a stump here, isn't there? Yep. It's right on top of a stump. Just got this game, trying to learn how to play it. Right on, right on. It's a, uh, it's a fairly relaxed game. Are you on PC or console? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We can do our best to help you out. Uh, 
See, I think this is going to waste some wood if I stick in this one piece right now. You're on console? Right on. Uh, current gen or uh, older gen console? See that piece, uh, I lost out on some lumber. I don't remember exactly how big those pieces are. Relaxed game, you obviously haven't been on that. Well, see, FSL isn't really for me because I prefer the relaxed side of farming simulator. I, I play it too relaxed, not to compete and rush and do all of that stuff. I like the chill side of it. You need to go to the equipment shop. I will be back a little later. Have to pop to the stone. Sounds good. All right, see you, Viking. Take see care, you. Viking. In a bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting just about seventy grand a a trailer with the environmental bonus. So, back over a million dollars. And I have a couple of projects I want to get started on. One is going to be down in this uh, neighborhood I got going on over here. I have an idea I want to do down in this area. Um, I might... Pick up these two properties... To do what I want to do down here. I also have a big project for this area. This property will probably wait till I do the silage sell off though. We may get these ones now so I can start working on that project I, I want to get done. I think that would be a fun, uh, fun little project for, sh for the stream. I just need to get that building moved so we can get that done quick. Get a couple of buildings knocked down rubble-wise. Do this here. That's... That's Black Diamond. What's that building? Oh, it's just a breakable one. Oh, okay. I actually kind of like the look of that one, even though it's a breakable building. So yeah, I might pick up those two properties, because I want to relocate a couple of these productions out of here anyway. Uh, over time, but talking about projects... Do we'll the planters for the wife this morning. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. Alright there, Deaconizer. Campbell's is probably going to get relocated down into this area here. Uh, eventually. Cargill, I think, is going down into the center of the city. Or center of the map. Down in the industrial district. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, you can relocate them because I can always just go in and... You know, if I want to place Dell Electronics wherever I want, I can certainly do that. It's just going to cost me money. I can, I can go put Black Diamond wherever I want to put it. Is Black Diamond meant to only be 460 grand? Yeah, somewhere around there. I think it's, it's well, I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm just curious because I know a lot know. of the other tier 4 factories are a million dollars plus. And... Yeah, but you're going to need all those other ones to get to that one. I... Yeah, well, yeah. You I know. <laughs> I, I fully understand that part of it. Just one of those ones where I'm kind of sitting here going like, is it 
meant to be that cheap? It seems really cheap. Well, it is. I don't know if it was meant to, or if we really just don't care. Uh, NBC sent me something quick. Hold on one second. I want to want to look at this. Ah, that's interesting. Civilians. Civilian veterans, ouch. Total deaths in war post 9-11. Mr. NBC, yeah, look at the chart. That's, it's interesting. I'm Total number of Americans killed in wars post 9-11. So you get Iraq war, Afghanistan war, civilian veterans who served post 9-11. There's Maine, coming in 39th on the list. New York's fourth on the list. Of course, much higher population densities in some of these other states, too, so. California. Interesting, uh, interesting info. Dang it. Got it. Can head to logging. Come back here. I'll get you and your little truck too. That one there. And this one can go over to the farm equipment building. What, Devlin? My my youngest says he wants to pay compliments to you, Dave, for the vehicle shop and the, the vehicles you have stuffed in there and stuff. Oh, thanks. He, he, he likes it. Awesome. Hey, Darius. You got spoiled today. You got two treats. Well, you got the those treats, and then Mama gave you a lickable. Trying to sell as many trees as possible while the great demand is on. That's when that's when you slow down time. <laughs> and go okay. Time to go to town. Half speed, great demand. Let's go. But at this point, I'll be happy cleaning this area up. Of all of the logs, get the stumps done, get it, uh, you know, I'll get the, uh, 